you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... No, we like it. We're still on? In Ratchet and Clank, you play Ratchet, a young, feisty, whatever, who hooks up with a reject robot with a heart named Clank. Yes. Am I cool now? Like a few other games, they work in tandem to save the universe from... The Supreme Executive Chairman Drek. The story is actually quite entertaining, and the voice work is on the money. You said it, pal! The game controls solidly. Jumping, gliding, and attacking all feel unique to the game, and they never keep you from success. And the design never keeps you from having fun. There are a few puzzles, but they're infrequent and engaging. Collecting is thankfully not the focus. Easy to find bolts are constantly acquired and are used as currency to acquire new weapons and ammo. Hi there, Fuzzball. The game's focus is combat, and you have a healthy arsenal to take out baddies. Anything from a blaster to a suck cannon that inhales enemies and spits them out as ammo. The problem is, the game has no lock-on feature and the camera is entirely manual, so close-quarter engagements can be unduly tricky and you will be losing health. A bigger issue is the AI, which only activates when you get close to an adversary. Many of the weapons, though, are long-range, so you can frequently dispatch them without much challenge. That's not to say the game's too easy, but it's just not visceral enough. Nonetheless, the game is enormous, spanning around 20 different worlds, and it never bogs down with redundant activities. And it goes without saying that it all looks stupendous. Ratchet and Clank is easy to recommend to anybody. The combat issues don't make it less fun, it just keeps it from being absolutely perfect. You owe it to yourself to play this game. We give it a 4 out of 5. I myself am not a robot guy, per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him.